Hey there. Welcome back to MAM's Medical Channel. Today I'm diving into a rare yet incredibly painful condition known as Treman disease, or scientifically, Epidermodysplasia verruciformis. But before we get into it, if you're new here, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit that bell icon for instant updates from MAMS. All right, let's get started. So, what exactly is Treman disease? Treman disease is a chronic skin disorder characterized by an abnormal susceptibility to human papillomaviruses, or HPVs. This condition causes widespread scaly, wart-like lesions that can resemble tree bark, especially on the hands and feet, hence the name Treman disease. The main culprit behind Treman disease is a genetic mutation zone, specifically mutations in the EVA1 or EVA2 genes. These genes are responsible for regulating your body's defense against certain types of HPV. When these genes are mutated, the immune system can't control HPV infections, leading to those characteristic skin lesions. So what are the symptoms? First up, wart-like lesions. Patients develop numerous flat, wart-like lesions, especially on sun-exposed areas of the skin. These lesions can merge and form large plaques covering extensive areas of the body. In severe cases, these lesions can grow into thick, horn-like projections, particularly on the hands and feet, giving that tree bark appearance. And, as if that wasn't enough, individuals with EV have a significantly increased risk of developing skin cancers, particularly squamous cell carcinoma, due to chronic HPV infection. Diagnosing EV often starts with a clinical examination based on the characteristic appearance of the lesions. A skin biopsy can confirm the presence of HPV-associated lesions and help rule out other conditions. Genetic testing can also identify mutations in the EVA genes confirming the diagnosis. Now, on to treatment. Unfortunately, there's no cure for EV. Treatment focuses on managing symptoms and reducing complications. Topical treatments such as retinoids and salicylic acid may help reduce the size and spread of lesions. In some cases, large or cancerous lesions may require surgical removal. Immunotherapy aims to boost the immune system's response to HPV to control lesion growth. And due to the high risk of skin cancer, regular dermatological checkups are essential for early detection and treatment of malignancies. The prognosis for individuals with EV varies depending on the severity of the lesions and the presence of skin cancers. With proper management, some patients can maintain a reasonable quality of life, but the condition often requires lifelong monitoring and treatment. Epidermodysplasia verruciformis is an extremely rare and complex condition that significantly impacts the lives of those affected, requiring ongoing medical care and support. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more medical insights from Mom. Stay healthy.